Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial in Informatica ActiveOS. In today's tutorial, we are going to see some of the interesting things about the ActiveOS. We know that the ActiveOS is used to integrate the task management functionality with Informatica Data Director, that is IDD. Now we can see in my current uh, current application, this is the IDD application where I can see tasks inside the start menu. There are a couple of things I would like to show you. The very first thing is total records. We can see 1000 records are getting displayed, uh, are getting fetched whenever I logged into the IDD application. Right now, I'm able to see a hundred record in my current screen. How this 1000 records are coming? Uh, why it is not giving me all records? All those things we are going to see in today's session. So let's start our today's session. Informatica, ID, Informatica Data Director, that is IDD, works with the ActiveOS in order to manage the task. So there are important things we need to remember. Why limited number of tasks generated in ActiveOS? For example, 1000, we just saw in the IDD application, we just see 1000 records are getting displayed. Why 1000? Why not all record? And here is the answer. There are some of the configuration which required to be made, which required to be made in order to ActiveOS to work. What are these configuration? These configurations we need to configure in hub server resources cmx server dot properties file. The properties such as task dot creation dot batch dot size. The default value is thousand. Task dot creation dot maximum. You can define any value. Default value is fifty. SIP dot that is zip dot task dot assignment dot interval equal to 10. So these are the important properties we need to configure in order to ActiveOS work properly. Here the very first property that is task dot creation dot batch dot size it is number to create in a batch. So this is the batch size which will be defined to create the task. If the count is lower than the next, that is default is 1000, then the task will be created. For example, for merge task, it will take a batch of 1000 records from the match table and it will create tasks based on the what are the records which are picked from the match table. That is the batch size. So that means this batch has to be completely processed then and then the next batch will be processed. Then what is the use of the task creation maximum? The task create task dot creation dot maximum property it act actually help ActiveOS to generate tasks. It automate it atomized task daemon to create more merge tasks if there are less than this amount. So for example, we have 1000 tasks already created by ActiveOS process. Then this value, what are the maximum value? Suppose we configure as a 300, default batch size is 1000. If the users are addressing those tasks and suppose 299 tasks are remain. So that means this value is less than 300, maximum is 300. Then the the ActiveOS task daemon will start and will create the additional 1000 tasks because that is the batch size. And hence, this is the limit below which if the count goes, then the new task will be created. Default value for task creation dot maximum is 50. Sip dot task dot assignment dot interval is a 10. So after every this interval, the task daemon will execute and create new task. 
which records from the match tables are used for merge task creation. We are here specifically talking about the merge task. Then what are the records from the match table? Whether all records will consider or any specific record? An answer is here. The records with row ID task is is not null and interaction id is not null as well as item merge indicator 0 that means manual merge record so th this criteria is satisfied then such records will be picked by the merge task three attribute i am saying here row id task should should not be uh, null that means row id task is not null interaction id is not null and the auto merge indicator is zero, then such records will be picked by the active was process to create merge task. So in case we would like to regenerate merge task, then we have to follow some of the process. So the regeneration, this is the special case I'm referring here. There could be orphan task created and you will truncate all tasks from your active was or some other reason which leads to delete the task from active OS and we need to regenerate the task. How can we regenerate? Here the case I explain is how to regenerate merge task. First of all, make sure you have deleted or all the tasks are uh, merge tasks are removed from active OS. You can use the active OS console to do that or you can have the workflow to execute the deletion process. Once that clear uh, once we are done with that activity the next thing is we have to update row id task with value null in mtch table also we have to update interaction id with value null in the mtch table once this match tables is updated the next thing is we have to update the corresponding base object with the consolidation equal to 4 so that the records will participate in match and which will leads to populating the row id task and interaction id with the corresponding value with a new value i would say once we are done with the updation process we have to run the match job and this match job will uh, will initiate the next process that is a task creation process with the help of active os daemon what is the meaning of a below log line you will see this log line in cmx uh, log cmx server log file that is com.cyperian.mrm.server.task assignment manager then your composite object and the uh, base object name for example subject area party has 1050 merge task so in the log file you will see the higher value but in the actually added console you will see the lower value as we seen as we have seen the 1000 records are getting created in and we can see that in the IDD but the log line will see the some higher count suppose in this case it's a 1050 which is greater than 1000 so log saying is more than what we actually see so why this why these different values so what are this log line is present it says it is the count the number of merge has created based on the match table if those numbers are exceeded the configuration task dot creation dot maximum value then it will print that message as seen in the log and stop processing further so this is the actually the log line it will not necessarily it will create that task and will be available it will just print this value and it will stop the task creation faulted task in ActiveOS. There may be some of the cases where you have to set the task in faulted status. If the merge tasks are faulted in ActiveOS, the IDD task daemon will not know the status. What is the status of that corresponding task in ActiveOS? So IDD will not get the status. So it will just display as an active task. So faulted tasks need to be removed by either marking them as a completed or by deleting those tasks this need to be completed before process can create and assign new task this is very important this is very critical and important we have to make sure delete the existing default faulted task 
or make sure mark those as a completed so that the new process properly create the appropriate task the admin users will responsible for clearing or deleting the faulty task it's very easy we can see that deletion or faulting process in upcoming session so keep watching this space and um, meanwhile we'll take this last point and we'll end up our session the last point here is how to disable task generation so i would say how to disable active or task generation process so we have seen in a very first slide there is a property file cmx server dot properties file in order to stop the task generation process we have to set sip dot task dot assignment dot interval to zero so that task generation will not execute even the daemon is active behind the scene it will not create any task because the interval is zero and this is for today's session i hope you're enjoying uh, this uh, activos tutorials if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you for watching this video have a nice time